Size isn't everything, so they say. But then again, the question is, how long is long enough? Is it really long enough? Is it good enough? Is that okay? Does, does that length work? Let's find out. I am of course talking about the length of a blog post. It's a really common question that we get time and time again and it's come in on the Q&A for this week. Yes, Marissa Jenkins has asked that question, how long should a blog post be? And well, I've decided to take on that challenge because I know a thing or two about size of blog posts. Just so we're clear, blog posts. Right, Marissa, thanks for the question. When it comes to the size of a blog post, there's no hard and fast answer. Like everything in life, everyone is different, everyone is unique, some will be longer than others, some will be shorter than others, some will need to be longer that aren't long enough, and some will be too short that they just can't have enough in it. So, how do you make sure you've got the right length of a blog post? It's a tricky one to weigh up, but let me give you some advice. Conventional wisdom around SEO will tell you that anything over 350 words has a better chance of getting ranked. Well, that is true, but we found that actually blog posts longer than a thousand words get ranked even better. In fact, only 6% of bloggers are creating content with more than 2000 words. So if you're looking to stand out with a piece of content, maybe it needs to be over 2000 words to really stand out. So that's just, if you're looking for an epic piece of content that you really want to impact with, maybe it needs to be 2000 words or more. Now, for your standard blog post, how long should that be? Well, it depends really on what the standard is. Again, within your niche, there's going to be a lot of other bloggers. Regardless of what you're writing about, you can be pretty sure there's a good few bloggers already talking about this topic. So maybe take a blog post of theirs, copy it, and then paste it into Word, and you'll see the word count. And do that for a couple of bloggers within your niche. See what their typical length of blog post comes out like. I generally tell people, pick 10, because the maths are easy. Take a, take a note of how long their blog posts are, and that will give you an average of the blog post that most bloggers within your niche are producing. It will give you an idea of what your benchmark should be for standard content, what your benchmark should be for super pieces of content. And it will also give you an idea as to if you wanted to do a short quick blog post. Well, a short quick blog post to you or I could be three or 500 words, but to people within your niche, a short quick blog post could be just 100 words or it could be a thousand words. So understanding where your niche is in terms of the types and lengths of blog posts that are going out there will help you then decide how long your blog post should be. For us, for me in particular, our blog posts generally, especially at the moment, are coming in well over 1500 words if not over 2000 words in fact i've just written a first draft of a blog post today that's 2214 words and that's my first draft so that'll give you an idea of the types of content we create now having said that most of the content we create will have a kind of how to list element to it so we're trying to convey a message we're trying to show people how to do something or we're explaining something so that does take time to convey in a blog post whereas if it was a quick bit of news like our fantasy football site, when we'd report on the news, those articles would probably be just about 350, 400 words. No more, no less. Precise enough to give you the facts, but not long enough to bore you. So that's what you're kind of looking at. So there is no definitive hard and fast answer. Look at what's going on within your niche. Look at what other people are doing. And then decide, does this style of blog post that I'm writing suit the length of time I have to write a blog post? So if you're writing a how-to and you've only got time maybe to knock out 500 words, you might be able to do it in the time you have. You may need to rejig your schedule to push that one out and maybe write it at a later date. So just think about the style of blog post. Can you convey what you need to convey within that style, within a limit? And that's what it comes down to. And really the best piece of advice I can give you when it comes to how long a blog post should be is a blog post should always be as long as it needs to be, but short enough to be engaging. So don't try and draw it out just because you're trying to hit a word count and if you can take out some unnecessary words i do suggest you do so in fact i link to a recent article in the description below it's nine editing tips for bloggers um, it's something that i spoke about recently on the blog that will help you when it comes to editing your blog content and it also will have a bearing on how long your blog posts are going to be so what i will say is don't worry about it really how long it's going to be but if you want it to rank well 
then it's got to be over 350 as we know i would say it's got to be over five at least if you really want to stand out from the crowd you've got to do something bigger and bolder than what's already out there but don't start out creating a piece of blog content with a word count in mind have it as long as it needs to be but short enough to cover all of the points so that's it marissa thank you very much for your question today and don't forget folks if you've got a question you want me to answer you can leave it in the comment section below or you can send me an email it's phil at content.academy but that's it from me for this tuesday and until next tuesday happy blogging Bye, bye, bye.